guys, my name is Cindy, and today I'm going to be playing True or False. So this was like a trend on Instagram, and I participated in it actually, but then I was like, I could make it into a YouTube video also. So, it's kind of like an updated Q&A, but a little bit more fun. True or False, you know? So, let's just hop right in. <laughs> First up, we have, you don't like Dallin's hair. This is false, and I don't know why, like, so many people feel the need to comment on Dallin's hair and tell him that he needs to cut it or they hate it. Imagine if you posted on YouTube and then people were just like, hey, by the way, I hate your hair, so if you could cut it, that'd be great. It's not a very nice thing to say, and I literally am shocked when I read those comments because it's his hair. He can do whatever he wants with it. If you've ever had really short hair and you try to grow it out, you have to go through like awkward phases. I don't get why it's okay for me to cut my hair and dye it all the time, but if Dallin does it, now we're all questioning if he's okay. I love his hair long and I love it blonde and so does he, so I'm happy. I'm happy he's happy. I assume that you hate doing YouTube sometimes. So, as you guys know, I kind of touched on this a little bit, but I used to be in like a really big struggle if I even wanted to do YouTube anymore. I just wasn't sure where I was at. I kind of hated doing it. Now, I am more in love with it than I've ever been. I'm posting five times a week, Monday through Friday, loving every second of it, and I don't know. I just think it's so fun to just share my life with you guys. I love making videos. I even love editing again, which I usually don't like editing, and I do right now, and I have a new passion for it. I assume you're my happier person than you were a few years ago so as you guys know I kind of went through a little bit of a rough stage there but I am like more happy now than I've ever been I feel like I'm being my more myself than I've ever been and kind of discovering who I am and I think it's a really fun process so I would say I'm definitely way happier now than at least I was like this past summer I assume sometimes it's really hard to be real with your supporters and feel vulnerable um, this is definitely true. It can be really hard to express my emotions, especially when like I don't know how to express them. And it's also really hard because I want to be like super open and honest with you guys. Like that's not the problem. It's that like my family, friends, like people I know, people who meet me, they'll like go watch my YouTube videos. And I'm like, do I want that person to know that information? Like I want my subscribers to know. And I actually have been DMing a ton of you just like sharing personal stuff. I love doing that and I want to share more of it on the internet, but also like every Everyone I know in real life watches my videos and that is what scares me to be vulnerable more than the internet honestly <laughs> I assume you're gonna have a baby sooner than we all expected mm. I mean I don't really know I am on birth control I know that accidents happen but I'm not planning on having a kid for another like five years I feel like I get asked this every Q&A and my answer has not changed <laughs> uh, you want to get more tattoos yes I actually have a ton of tattoo ideas I don't know for sure if I'm gonna full send and get a sleeve but I'm kind of leaning towards that way right now which is crazy because I never even thought I would get tattoos then I realized that I'm an adult and I can do whatever makes me happy so I got one and I love it and now I want like a billion more but I actually have my next tattoo planned I'm not gonna say what it is yet because it's actually gonna be a surprise it's super super meaningful my first one was kind of just for fun so I think it's gonna be exciting to get an actual like meaningful tattoo once I get it then I can share with you guys what it is but I'm gonna wait because it's actually a surprise okay I can't say anything else <laughs> okay I've gotten this question and this is like the main question that I got literally like a thousand times is asking you aren't active in the LDS church anymore and that is true I don't know how much detail I want to go into right now but I've been having a lot of struggles a lot of questions and a lot of reevaluating what I actually believe in and what I stand for so I have decided to not be in the church and I was raised Mormon all of my dad's side of the family is Mormon and all in-laws are LDS so it's definitely really really difficult to say this especially because I haven't really talked to my family about it and they're probably gonna watch this video and then um, that's really awkward, but I just want to be like open and honest. I'm not an active member. I do consider myself Christian right now. This video, if I were to open up about this, I think it would be like a six hour long video. I'm not even kidding. There's just so much that goes into it. It's not some stupid small thing and I'm just not going because I don't want to because I feel like that assumption gets made a lot. It's so much more than that and I'm not ready to talk about it yet and that's like the number one question I always get asked when I'm going live or anything or doing Q and A's. Everyone just asks about that and I'm not comfortable talking about it yet. If you really, really 
really want to talk about it and you're also struggling, you're welcome to DM me on Instagram, Sid Forsyth. I've been having amazing conversations with a lot of you guys on this subject, getting lots of different perspectives. I'm still continuing down my spiritual journey and all that, but my relationship with God is number one. I'm happier now than I've ever been. So I know this might be confusing to a lot of people, especially if my family's watching this, but um, okay, I could just keep rambling and I like, I'm not gonna sit here and try to like defend my decisions because they're my decisions and I can do what's best for me because I'm an adult. So cool, moving on. <laughs> I assume that you want a septum ring or more piercings. Um, I actually don't want a septum ring. Personally, I don't like the look of multiple rings on your nose. Um, I think it looks cute on other people. I personally just don't want that. I like my just one little nose ring, but I do want a lot more piercings on my ears. I want to get my double helix, possibly, um, what's it called? The, the Rook? I think it's what's called. Maybe the, oh my gosh, why are they all so many different names? Um, what is this called? What is this called? What's it called? Oh my gosh. A conch. I want to get the conch. I don't know for sure. I don't want my ears to look too cluttered. I do have really small ears, but I do want more piercings. Definitely a double helix on this ear. Because I have my helix on this ear, and I want to over here. I like the uneven look. Um, I assume that you want to go back to college. This is false. Mm. I don't have any desire to go to college, but I have had some low-key desires to go into either cosmetology or esthetician just because I think they're both like really cool practices and I don't even know if I would actually use them as a job, but just like to learn it, you know? I just think they're really cool. I just don't know if I'll ever actually do it because it is like quite the commitment. Not as much as a commitment as college, but I mean, it's still a school, so. But I think it'd be cool to like be good at more than one thing, you know? I assume you're an extrovert. Um, okay, this is kind of true, kind of false. So like back when I started my YouTube channel, I was 100% an ex extrovert. I was always the most like outgoing person in the room. And obviously that helps with like vlogging my life and not being scared to vlog in public and stuff. But I feel like since I've lived on my own the first time, like when I bought my house and lived on my own, I kind of turned into more of like a homebody. Not necessarily an introvert. I think I'll always be an extrovert, but I'm a little bit more on the introverted side of being an extrovert, if that makes sense. Like I'm not so crazy out there. I am a little bit more um, of a homebody and don't really like going out as much anymore. But I don't think that really makes me like an introvert. I don't know if that made any sense. You regret waiting for marriage. Uh, this is false. I'm super happy with my decision to wait till marriage. It's a decision that I made when I was a little girl and I stuck with it. And I know a lot of people have been asking me and I actually filmed a video of talking about like being a virgin on my wedding night, but I don't know if I'm happy with it so I might refilm it. But let me know if you guys actually would want to see that video. It's definitely very vulnerable of me to talk about because it's such a personal thing, but I know it could help a lot of people. So I don't know. Sometimes I have to put myself aside so that I can help you guys, you know? You want to be more sexy or provocative for higher views, but you're afraid of being judged. This is false. I have never felt the need to like, um, show off my body for views or like anything like that. First of all, I am not confident in my body. I'm actually very insecure about it. And I don't like dressing um, provocatively. I think everyone should dress however they feel comfortable and whatever makes them happy. But I am insecure and I always wear baggy clothes. I'm wearing a hoodie and I have a t-shirt underneath with leggings or like I wear like sweats. Like I don't like wearing things that show off my body because I don't like it. I'm working on that. But yeah, just uh, that's false. So <laughs> you feel like you're a different person than you were a year ago. True, this is like 100% true. I look back on videos of me a year ago, especially like Q and A's, cause that's when I open up about my thoughts at the time, which honestly I love feeling, filming Q and A's cause then I can look back and be like, who was she? A year ago. Yeah, I would answer a lot of questions different now if I were to be asked the same questions that I was asked a year ago. There's just so much that goes into that. But yeah, I definitely feel like I'm a diff completely different person. And that's pretty much all the true or false questions that you guys asked me. This was kind of fun to catch up, answer some questions that I know a lot of people have been dying to know the answer to, and open up a little bit more. I was definitely very vulnerable in this video, so please be gentle with my feelings. <laughs> I love all of you guys. I hope you're figuring out your life journey what makes you happy and not just doing what anyone tells you and doing what actually makes you happy i hope everyone has a good day i currently am getting my wisdom teeth out and i'm probably laying in bed watching netflix so this is a little pre-filmed video but i'll see you guys in the next one